communication lawyer Skylar McKeith and my um, political commentator friend here, Emma Webb, uh, to turn this one over in our minds as best we can. Uh, Skylar, if I can start with you. Uh, there is a, a distinction in the minds of some between and accepting fully that obviously a great many Syrian refugees were refugees, they were fleeing a war zone, uh, but mixed in with those 1.3 million people who made their way principally to Germany but to Scandinavia and other Western European countries as well, there were people who were not driven to move by warfare and, and maybe that's made people a little bit cynical. Well, we need to treat everybody the same. And under the Refugee Convention, there is framework in place to protect refugees um, on being able to reach safety and receive assistance without discrimination. So we really cannot be discriminating against anyone um, from Syria or Ukraine. There should be no discrimination whatsoever. And what we need to really see here is the UK government lifting visa requirements for U Ukraine residents to allow for easier travel to the UK. And that would be the single most effective effective step that the government could take. OK. Um, Skylar, Emma is taking us on to what we do about Ukrainian refugees. But just on the point she makes that we need to be treating, in quotes, everyone the same, uh, whether they're from yes. the Middle East or sub-Saharan Africa or from Ukraine. What's your view? Presumably, that's if you're comparing like for like, and it's something that you just alluded to there, is that the people of Ukraine are fleeing an immediate war zone. Um, and I think if you look at the people's re responses, the public's responses to um, the those who were, particularly those who worked with British armed forces in Afghanistan, who were immediately fleeing the Taliban uh, takeover of that country, I think people were a lot more sympathetic to that than, for example, those who were coming over across the channel illegally, whose first act ended entering the UK is an illegal one. Um, people from countries like Iran and Vietnam, they are not uh, fleeing a war zone in the same way that the Ukrainian people are. And I think as well on, a, um, on an emotional level, the Ukrainian people are Europeans. And so I think it's, it's quite natural that you, the, you, the European, um, as, as is the case also admittedly in countries in the Middle East, it's always preferable for people seeking refuge to seek that refuge and to stay as close as possible to their country of origin because it helps them to return to their country. And in the case of the Ukrainians as well, the, the, the men of fighting age are staying in the country to fight. They're being conscripted into the Ukrainian army. These people fleeing are specifically women and children as compared with uh, usually young men who are, cross, who are attempting to cross the channel. So I think actually if we're talking about um, treating people equally, we need to be clear that we're not exactly talking about like for like here. Uh, and Skylar, I suppose it's important to make the case that a, a, lot of, a lot of the Ukrainians who are crossing the border, whether that's to Poland, Hungary, Slovakia, um, they, they, they perhaps want to be close to home uh, because they can get back to the Ukraine as and when the fighting uh, stops and the situation subsides, but also because there are networks of Ukrainians there that can provide them with, with a home, perhaps, and possibly the connections needed to get a job. Well, definitely. I mean, a lot of them are going to have family um, nearby in the neighbouring countries. But at the same time, we do need to be opening our doors to them. The EU is proposing to trigger legislation that grants temporary protection for refugees for up to three years. And the UK is not doing the same. They have not proposed any substantial measures to cope with the scale of this challenge. And at the same time, the, the neighbours to Ukraine cannot be expected to shoulder this um, responsibility themselves.